Warning, this video is created for satirical purposes, as well as shining a light on a few things that Spark and Zero could do better. This video should not in any way make you feel butthurt. If you find yourself feeling butthurt at any point of this video or any other video on the internet, immediately get off the internet right now and dial 1-800-NOBODY-CARES. That is 1-800-NOBODY-CARES. Thank you and enjoy the video. This game's really starting to piss me off, man. Once again, I bought this game with the idea that I was going to be playing this on online multiplayer, mostly ranked mode. And I think for the most part, that's what everybody kind of had the same fantasy of. We paid a hundred something dollars for this game. We expected to be able to play the game, you know, at least play the game mode that we mostly want to play. Obviously, the game itself works. It's still functioning mostly enough for you can play the game. But if you're trying to play online, you got to deal with this shit hey. every single time, at least from my perspective. You got to sit here and hope the guy that you get a match or you get a match and you get kicked out of the damn match. You get booted out of that motherfucker for hey. no reason. No reason at all. You know what? Fuck it. Hey. I don't care. I'm going to say fuck hey. all I want to because YouTube's TOS can kiss my ASS. To be honest, and they can, they can, they can kiss my ASS with shit in it. I just had to get out the way real quick, man. I was a little annoyed, but I'm, I'm just... Like, bro, I'm, I'm tired of this game. I'm tired of video games in general, irritating me. I had I had issues with Black Myth Wukong. Every time a new game comes out, bro, we shouldn't have to be sitting here waiting for them to fix the damn game that they should have had ready for us when it dropped. The game had five years. It's been 17 years since Tenkaichi 3 dropped. You would think that they would have something. You would think they would be prepared to drop this shit, right? You would think that and when, when they dropped the game, that we would at least be able to play the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we wouldn't have to deal with the shit that we deal with. I'm, I'm not saying that we don't go through this shit with every other game that drops. I'm saying we shouldn't be okay with that. I think it's dumb as hell. It's really ridiculous that we spend all this good money that we work hard to get just to get a game, a video game. It's simply just a video game, obviously. It's just a little video game. It's nothing big, nothing serious, but we spending all this money on it just to play it, just to escape from reality for a little bit. So we we would expect for the shit to actually work functionally. We had issues with the damn story mode even. And we ain't even gotta talk about that. I mean, the story mode was mid at best, honestly. The story, like, the whole what ifs, oh my god, that was such a like joke, bro. That was a joke. The what ifs was a joke. The cutscenes were a joke. Don't get me wrong, they look fire because of the particles, the colors, and all of that. Everything looked nice, but joke. It's a joke. The damn some of the gameplay aspects, obviously, it's mostly Tank Aichi, so I can't really complain. But it's just the way that the meta is played with the community. I'm gonna say the community. A joke. Every like, bro, damn near everything with this game that comes with it is a joke don't get me wrong there's some good and there's some bad there's always gonna be some good and some bad like with the community there's some good people in the community really good people then there's some dickheads and some people that probably don't even like dragon ball but they just hopped in here and decided to ruin everybody else's experience then you got the people that pick yajirobe i ain't even gonna get to that you know who you are and you know who those people are those people we already know we ain't even gotta talk about that but then we get to the point well, you can't even damn play the uh, the game. The game actually, you can't even play this shit on ranked. You can barely play it at all because if you hopped in a match, you're gonna get kicked out nine times out of ten. Maybe I say about a good forty percent of the time, I get kicked out of my matches. Maybe even more. I don't even know anymore because it got to the point where I stopped even playing because I was annoyed with it. I even tried to go back to episode mode. That garbage. That hot garbage. I don't know why anybody is even trying to defend episode mode, bro. Like, it's actually good when it's clearly not. There's nothing good about this game mode, bro. Let's just be honest. Well, let, let me stop. Let me stop. There's some good to it, but it's mostly just watered down story, which is cool. But it's like, if you're going to give me some watered down shit, at least make it interesting. You know, some of it is, but most of it is just, oh, Frieza beat Goku instead of Goku beat Frieza. Or, you know, Goku beat... I mean, some of it is cool, don't get me wrong, but it's just like they, without the cinematics, without the extra story into it, it's like you really didn't even try. So like, it's just such a small little taste of a what if saga. And, and maybe I'm just complaining. Maybe I'm just picking hairs at this point, but I'm just plucking hairs. I don't even know what the damn expression is. I don't even give a damn. Honestly, I'm just, I'm just, I wanted to come on here and just 
lay out my frustration with this game, bro. Dragon Ball Z is my favorite show ever. Bandai Namco is probably my favorite gaming company by default because I love anime and I love Dragon Ball Z. But honestly, if y'all don't get y'all shit together, I know GTA 6 is a while away, but we do have Black Ops 6 and we have the zombies aspect of that. If this game isn't doing too good in the next week or two, I might have to just take a little break and come back and see what see how things are. Because we need an update at this point. We might need several updates. And if we don't get one in the next week, bro, I don't even I don't think I could care enough about this game. Don't get me wrong. I'm a, like I'm a always have this game. This game always going to be great to me. It's going to be my favorite game of the year, regardless, because it's Dragon Ball. But it's just like, what am I doing wasting my time playing a game that for one, if I'm playing the ranked matches, I'm going to I'm usually if I lose, if I'm losing a match, I just finish the match. But if I'm winning, then I'm getting disconnected because either the dickhead is disconnecting or the game is just picking when to disconnect me and it disconnects me at the wrong time. So I'm playing rank for no reason. My rank is just going to keep fluctuating and going down. And it's going to be false. I keep getting messages saying I need to quit disconnecting. I keep getting messages saying that I've been harassing and trolling people because people can't take a fucking L. I don't know, man. I just feel like Bandai really shit the bed in, in a lot of aspects when it came to, to, the, to the launch of this game. I feel like the game is is a really good game but it's it's being handled poorly right now we need we need somebody to do something about this bro and you know that's just pretty much all i had to say man it's down there economy i wanted to go ahead and just give a slight little review of how i feel about this game bro it ain't really too much that i could say you know like it's it's not a huge game it's not a whole lot of content it's not all the content that we thought that everybody was really trying to hype it up to be it's more or less just a obviously it's a fighting game but it's more or less just like another regular old dragon ball z game man i mean it's nothing really too special the the custom battles are pretty nice and everything like that but at the, at the same time the custom battles are just the really the episode battles but they're kind of mid because it doesn't you don't get voice actors you don't get no cutscenes. you just get half-ass cutscenes. you know with with little lines that you can read and you got to put your own emphasis and put your own uh, spin on that to make it sound and feel good and, and authentic and, and unique so I don't know that's just uh that's just how I feel about it I guess I could talk about the tournament real quick before we get out of here the tournament is probably the best mode in the game right now because it functions how it's supposed to for the most part yes you might get kicked out of some tournaments online but I mean if you if you just want to hop in the tournament, get a little zany, you can do that on your own, or you could just hop into an online match. And if somebody disconnects, nine times out of ten, you'll still be in the tournament, and you can just play the next person after that. So, tournament is probably the best way to play the game. If you're looking to play the game online right now, I think that would be the that would be the best option for you. If not, I would recommend just playing player match because. Ranked is broken. Ranked is a piece of shit. Ranked is hot, hot dog shit. I don't even know what to call it. And I don't even think I'm going to edit this shit. Because I don't really care, bro. I'm, I'm just annoyed with this game right now, dog. And I feel like they, they should have did better. I feel like people people dick doing a little too dick pulling, bro. People need to stop kissing ass and start keeping it real, dog. Like, yes, the game is great. But it's also great for us to critique the game. Because if we don't do that... They just gonna keep shit in the bed and 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 running our pockets, bro. Just taking our money and just just doing whatever they want with the game after we done bought it, bro. It's just it's annoying. Like we knew we all was gonna pre-order this game, and who else knew that? Bandai, obviously, clearly they knew we was gonna pre-order this game because they didn't even give a fuck to make the game good. They didn't not not good. They didn't give a damn to make the game function correctly. You know what I'm saying? Like they just put this shit out there and was like, here. And yeah, we was we was hoping that they would push the game out sooner but that was because they was giving us all these trailers and all these gameplay videos making us think that the game was closer to closer to being finished but really it wasn't really that close to finish they just had enough done for them to push it out so that we would be happy enough with it so we can say hey we at least played the game you know the game is nice the game looks great but it's playing like dog shit so that's it that's all i gotta say man if y'all made it this far to the video shout out to y'all man i appreciate y'all and Thank you for watching, man. I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, like it. Subscribe if you're new. We out. Peace.